I'm screaming because bitch, the line is me. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Baby Tay, and I'm going bar for bar with VH1 for Women in Rap Week. VH1 is gonna put me to the test to see if I can match iconic female MCs to their bars. If I'm struggling, I have a chance to call on one of my people for help. But if I'm dead wrong, it's up to me to provide a certified Baby Tay remix freestyling to finish the bars in front of me. Y'all think I got the skills? Well, I know I do. So let's get it going. Some think that we can't flow, stereotypes they got to go. I'ma mess around and flip the scene into reverse. So this flow, this cadence, what this female MC is talking about feels like something from the 90s. It's between two artists right now and I don't know which one I wanna go with. I'ma mess around and flip the scene into reverse. Woo, woo, woo. I'm just gonna say it's Queen Latifah. Woo! Something that she does a lot in her, her music is really take up for and stand up for women's voices. She was definitely one of those women that was like, y'all be saying we can't rap, but we about to flip the scene on you. What's the matter with your life? Why you gotta mess with mine? Don't keep sweating what I do, cause I'm gonna be just fine. This also is giving me like an OG female MC type of vibe. I'm gonna say it's salt and pepper. So I was feeling that way because of the specific word choice. Like, why you gotta mess with mine? Don't keep sweating what I do. And I think that in the 90s, like, why you sweating me? That was, that was like the slang. While you been kicking that old shit, we making hits. Platinum and gold shit. I stay draped in diamonds and pearls. Behind every man is a bad girl. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna get beat up for this if I don't know the right one. Cause I know it's one or the other. I don't wanna say which one I think yet, but let me. I want to say because of the flow, I wanna say this is Foxy Brown. I knew it was Lil' Kim. I knew it was Lil' Kim because like, Lil' Kim is a flexor, but the flow kind of made me think that it was Foxy. I apologize to Lil' Kim. I love you so much. While you have been kicking that old shit, we making hits, platinum and gold shit. I stay draped in diamonds and pearls. Behind every man is a bad girl. And in front of every bad girl is a man with the bucks. And if you ain't got him, we don't give up. I'm representing for the bitches, all eyes on your riches. No time for the little dicks. You see, the bigger the dick, the bigger the bank. I already know who that is. That is the one and the only, the baddest bitch, the diamond princess, Trina. I love how raw Trina is. Like, she will say the things that women are thinking but are too scared to say. But Trina's like, anyways, I'm the baddest bitch and I'm gonna say it because I meant it. Sip me like some high C, cause you know I got the juice. She stay on her grind and she pull up in that new. Work a nine to five and she trying to finish school. Period, it's giving boss bitch Lotto. What I love about Lotto is she is very empowering and you know, this song right here is one of those songs where it's like just bigging up whatever you doing. Whether you out here, you know, going to school or working a nine to five or whether you out here in the streets hustling, doing what you gotta do, Lotto's very uplifting to all of those women. I can make the party hot. I can make your body rock. Bitches say they f***ing with me. Chances are, they probably not. That's Cardi B up. <laughs> I think that was so dope to be able to watch Cardi B go from the Instagram super hype personality that was making music to the TV personality that was making music to the superstar that's making music um, that she is today. It's definitely inspirational. Attitude on you, pay me. It take more than a Bentley to date me. Got me up. I don't trust them. Look here. I love Lakia. I think that she can wrap her ass off. The bars are always barring. 
and the flows are always flowing. I love how she can approach so many different topics and it's always her, it's always authentic. You never had a flavor like this. A little Georgia peach with a little Southern twist. I hit and don't miss. Guaranteed money like the first and the fifth. So off top, I know it's somebody from Georgia and being from Georgia, there aren't that many rappers, female rappers from Georgia. So I'm just gonna go with an educated guess. I think it's Rashida. I just love how her music makes me feel. Like, it just makes me wanna do this little sway. I don't know what it is, but it's like, mmm, mmm. Mm. And I also just love how, you know, much of a businesswoman she is and a family woman. So shout out to Rashida. You pop pimples, ho. I pop You can talk like this when you really that bitch. Cause I'm feeling myself, I'm conceited. Flo Millie. I feel like she's an artist very similar to myself that is that fun and bubbly girlfriend that just is gonna pick you up and, and uplift you and remind you that you that bitch. So like, what are you doing? Her music is so energetic and fun. And you know, I really appreciate the fact that we got to collab on I Am. <laughs> Look like a IG model, walk with a waddle, body shaped like a Coke bottle. I relate, and I know that that is Rennie Rucci. Shout out to Rennie Rucci. I know she is a South Kakalaki girl, and I loved being able to, you know, meet her a little bit uh, when we were both on Love and Hip Hop. But yeah, she's just super inspirational as well for her to be a mother and, you know, still doing amazing in her career. Hello. Hello, Dociana. Hey. I am here with VH1 and we're doing this segment called Bar for Bar and we're celebrating women in rap and they're giving me some bars that I have to guess who said it. So this one has me kind of stumped. So I'm wondering, could you guess who this is? Yeah, go ahead. It says, playing games, I'm moving like a chess piece. Calm down. Cause a queen get deadly. The brat? Mm, is it the brat? Uh, I don't think it's the brat. Do I get to guess again? You can guess another time. I'll give you a hint. You want a hint? Yeah. She look a lot like me. Um, Asian doll? No, girl. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm screaming because bitch, the line is me. So the rules are if you get it wrong, you have to do like a freestyle to add on to them bars. Playing games, I'm moving like a chess piece. Calm down, cause the queen get deadly. Use a mother deadbeat. Period. <laughs> Yo, my stupid ass. It's okay because you ate you ate the freestyle. You ate that. We, we might have to do a remix. Okay, period. <laughs> so I got a lot right because I really do mean what I say when I say I be listening to the female rappers, okay? And I really support the girls. I love the girls down, up, sideways, backways, frontways. Thanks for watching me go bar for bar with VH1. Make sure you check out my mixtape Manny Petty during this Women in Rap Week and every day after that. Hey y'all, it's your boy Caesar, Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch your number two.